हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे इज़ द डे 24 फॉर आर पी सी एन एस ए सीरीज सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अबाउट एस नैट एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अबाउट डी नैट एंड ऑल द टाइप्स ऑफ एस नैट एंड डी नैट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अबाउट यू टर्न नैट टू अंडरस्टैंड यू टर्न नैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट सम अदर टॉपिक्स एज वेल so in this particular video we are going to understand what is dns what is internal dns external dns and what is u turn nat and what are the use cases so basically this video will be a kind of a theory video there will be no practical because if i start covering the practical it will go too long for this particular video so i i thought like we'll go with theory part and then we'll go with the practical okay in the part 2 okay so i'll request you to please watch this video till then because this is very much helpful for the interview and understanding the concept as well so and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me so without any further delay let's get started so friends first of all we'll understand what is dns right domain name system with the help of this diagram we'll try to understand okay so whenever a client a client can be a pc or any machine like it can be proxy it can be firewall it can be router anything right now whenever we talk about machines right they actually understands ip address like if i wanted to tell you in the osi model at layer 3 we have we need source ip address and destination ip address right now in this case in dns what happens like it basically changes www.google.com so that whenever we are sending the request to google.com we have to put the destination ip address right we cannot simply put www.google.com in destination ip address so dns will help us to get the ip address of www.google.com to an ip address right so in the request let's say a machine is requesting to get the ip address of google.com still that machine needs to know how to reach dns server so we have to configure in the pc about the dns ip address until and unless you can if you are not configuring the dns ip address the pc won't be able to reach the dns server it won't be able to resolute the uh, host name to the ip address and the resolution not happens and the pc will never will get to reach to the internet or google.com okay maybe you can do an experiment you can just check your uh, pc configuration okay and just remove the dns ip address and check whether internet is working or not still if you have a internet connection proper internet connection and if you are not providing the dns ip address it won't work right so this is the thing and this is what the dns is all about so changing the host name to the ip address we need this dns server in dns servers there will be a lot of mappings like www.google dot com some ip address will be there www dot a b c dot com ip so it will have a list of those urls and the ip addresses just try to understand it we have so many things root dns uh, tlds and all those things are there but for now you just understand this is how the dns is and this is how the records will be in the dns okay so now let's understand what is internal dns what is external dns okay friends let's 
understand what is internal dns and what is external dns with the help of this particular diagram we'll try to understand we can also say internal dns as a private dns right and external dns as public dns right now private dns you can just think about it is basically or particularly for a company or corporate network okay or enterprise network or just think about a uh, internally like internally to the network for that part particularly for that particular network but this is a public dns which is accessible by all the internet users so meaning that let's say for an example if i want to access www dot google.com if i want to access yahoo.com if i want to access youtube.com so now all this dns entry would be in public dns but let's say for an example if i want to access google hr.com like their internal application or internal portal or internal something in that particular case that will not be available publicly because that is only specific to the google employees right that entry will be there in their own network and that will be into the internal dns so let's say for an example you went to an office you have your laptop the com corporate laptop and you you are connected to the network okay now if you want to access their hr portal or any other internal portal or any other tools or application you want to access which is actually hosted internally for employees in that case you have to basically go to internal dns because you cannot also remember their ip addresses if you have multiple applications or multiple portals it is not possible to uh, have this right Uh, you cannot remember uh, those ip addresses right so that is the reason for ease of access we will create a internal dns okay and internal dns will resolve those internal host names and those host names will be there in the internal dns okay so if you try to understand in this particular diagram the internal dns is will be connected to the pc okay and now here is a thing what exactly happens is if you are having a pc a corporate pc okay so it will be configured with internal dns now let's say if i am going to google.com now that is a public dns that needs to be resolved with the public dns so that request will be sent to internal dns and internal dns will have the information what is the public dns ip address so he will be sending or the server will be sending that particular request to external dns to resolve google.com so if you just try to see this particular scenario end of the day that request is going to external to resolve to an ip address if it is a public website okay so you just need to understand what is internal dns and external dns internal dns it is basically for organization external dns for internet user that is the thing that you need to understand to understand u turn nat okay so friends let's understand what is u turn nat okay and what are the use cases of it with the help of this particular diagram we'll try to understand okay now as you can you can understand this particular word u turn nat okay let me explain you what exactly it is what is the use case so that you can understand the meaning of this particular word okay so friends let's understand one scenario first so this is one of the pc okay now let's say you are a internet user and you want to connect google.com okay now google.com has a public ip address 
right it resolves to a public ip address now per second we have like millions of millions of requests that is coming for google.com only so serving only one particular machine which has a public ip address associated with this and serving all the requests that is not possible so what exactly happens is for external user or for in internet users google.com has a public ip address but in public uh, in google network the nat will happen and end of the day the service will be assigned with private ip addresses right they will not be assigned with a public ip address okay because with the um, uh, we can basically do a load balancing we can do so many things if we have only one public ip address so the users will be hitting the public ip address and I, I can load balance with multiple servers inside my organization i can do that so this is the way the service will be configured in the environment now let's understand one of the scenario wherein if you have no internal dns right as we have understood about internal dns and external dns right so external dns where the internet users try to go to public servers and internal dns is basically for organization okay so let's say you have a company and the server is abc.com okay and we have a mapping of 198.1.1.1 and it is basically mapped to a public dns server okay so whoever wants to connect they will connect to external dns server they resolve this ip that they, they will got and they will try to come and will do a nat to a private ip address and they will access the server now in case of our internal users now for internal users there is no dns for private network we have external so i'll go externally i'll try to get this particular information so i am trying to access my internal server with a public ip address right so in this case i will configure a u turn nat so that this pc can access private ip address of that server so the pc what it does is whenever it tries to access this public ip address the palo alto will be configured with u turn nat and u turn nat will allow you to access the external facing or external dns or external public ip address through which it can allow you to access the private ip address or it will basically help you to do a nat and send that particular traffic to access the private ip address or a private ip address of the server so u turn will help you to convert this particular address to a private address of that particular server okay so in a summary what i can tell you is u turn will help you to access internal server with external ip or public ip address so i can access my internal server with public or external ip address okay so we have to configure that particular nat so that i can access the internal server with public ip address right now there are so many use cases i can tell you right now just think about we don't have internal server in our network okay in that particular case 
I'll be accessing my server abc.com with public IP address, right? So there are so many scenarios like testing environment. There are some prod environment. There are some uh, um, uh, I can tell you some developing environment. So you they they will use this very much. This Uternet things. Okay, I have seen in many organization or many uh, conditions wherein they need to use this particular public or external ip address they are going to access the internal service okay now in the next video we are going to do the practical because we have to create that practical and we have to make you understand how that is working and then basically will probably uh, because it takes more time and I cannot spend that much of time in one video. It will be too long. Maybe it will go for more than one hour as well. So I am going to stop here. So this is what I wanted to cover in this particular video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And I will request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next.